I became active in the strike, picked it in different parts of the country. I went to Orgrave and I was one of the drivers. When we had a, a roll call towards the end of the day, one of the boys was missing. So I went to the police officer and asked, where do you take uh, the boys that's been arrested? And he told me in Rotherham. So I'd never been to Rotherham before, so I was lost. And I was wandered around the back of this huge police station. And I, I, when I was there, a single decker bus pulled up and the door was open. And when I looked, the seats had been removed and there was all little cages inside and the bus was full of men that were in these cages. Some were unconscious, they'd wet themselves. There was blood running down the aisle through head injuries. The driver was shouting abuse at me, but he couldn't shut the door, there was something wrong with the door. And he kept on blowing the horn to open the electric gates of the police station. I was, I was dumbfounded. It's something like you see in South Africa. And this is 30 years ago. I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, after I found out about uh, the, one of the boys who was in the, the prisoner and he was on in court at 12 that night, midnight. So we didn't get home until about six or seven the following morning after traveling back all night as well. It was a long day. <laughs>